Hey, what is up, you guys? This is Dre the Gamer right here. Welcome back to another video. So we're playing some automation here. The Car Company Tycoon game. So, um, we're gonna be building a car here. Alright, so let's see. Alright, so we got 2011 SUV, but I was thinking, why don't we build something simple for now? See, 2005, 2005 sedan. Yeah, I think this should be good. Uh, chassis type. Um, fiberglass, aluminum, carbon fiber. Uh, let's go steel. Uh, um, let's do galvanized steel, front transverse, front suspension, uh, McPherson strut. Double wishbone. I think that should be good for a normal car. Okay. Alright, now we're going to build an engine here. So, yeah. Sounds good. Let's do a, just a I-4. I don't think we need much for a, uh, let's do cast iron. Oh, that's a good size. Uh, dual overhead cam. Four miles per cylinder and cast iron yeah let's have a bdl cast iron heavy duty cast pistons heavy duty cast mm. i think we're just gonna have all this at normal I mean, we, we can always come back here and play around with it in case uh we want like more horsepower or something but um think rpm limit no, i think 7000 is good for a uh just regular i4 considering this is not that big of an engine uh direct injection personal their standard regular we're not building the sports car here we're just building the sedan here headers cast line let's do tubular i guess i guess yeah, let's do cast log. I think that's going to be better. Exhaust diameter, two inches. Mm -hmm. Two-way, baffled, baffled. All right, 160 horsepower is what this thing makes. 186 now, because I turned the quality up. Um, 186 horsepower at 7,000 RPM. I mean, I think this is normal for an I-4. This is what a... Yeah, this is just an inline-4. Um, let's test the engine. So the pistons are, uh, and the con rods are stressed under rev. So we're going to use a somewhat stronger because we want a reliable engine here. So con, we're going to do heavy duty forged. Forged. Yeah, I think that should be good. Let's test the engine now. Let's see how good it is. Manually tested. Yeah, it's good now because we wouldn't want any stress on the pistons or the con rods. So the liability has gone up, so that's good. It's always nice. Um, no mechanical issues with the, uh, right now. We could do a wagon hatchback, or I think we'll just do the sedan because uh, you know I just kind of want to make this simple here. This is my first time playing this game, but uh. Yeah, that's kind of ugly. Yeah, I think that looks okay. But we're just trying to make a sedan here, you know, like. I don't know, you know what, I'm going to not do, I'm going to worry about the fixtures later because uh, we're going to do worry about that later. We just need front wheel drive. Let's do a manual five speed. Mm, 
think 126, 125 is good enough for a car like this. Uh, we don't need anything special for the differentials, really. This thing ain't going to go off-road. This is got more of a... Mm, hard, long life. I think that should be good. Alloy. Brakes. Let's just do disc. Uh, free pistons. Disc. So let's just do discs all around, because, I mean, drums are a bitch. Under tray. Uh, I don't know, I mean, I just do fully clad, I guess. That's what I do. Um, I've seen, um, let's do standard, I guess. Standard infotainment. I mean, this thing in a luxury car we're building here, we're just building like a kind of a, just a basic car here. Electric. Mm. Yeah, let's have stability control. Uh, advanced 2000s, this car is from the 2000s. Suspension, ooh, standard. Alright, so we're going to be uh, changing the gearing here and all the gears facing because uh, the car is a little slow, 9.4 seconds, uh, 0 to 60, and uh, it's kind of slow if you ask me. Uh, so I'm going to maybe change the spacing a little bit, see if that makes a difference. There's a lot of wheel spin in first. Uh, first is a little tall, actually. I think first it ended like, mm, I don't know. Maybe I should try a six-speed box. Yeah, I think that should be a little bit better. We're going to have... Uh, let's see. Damn, first is still tall. What if we try a four-speed? Hmm. No, now first is even taller, right? Didn't think of that before, but... I want to space them out, but I don't want too much wheel spin, so we need... So what we got to do is we got to change the tires. Or no, whoops, wheels. Uh, okay, we're just going to make wider tires. I think that should help. The wheel spin, yeah, I think it, yeah, it helped a little bit. Uh, sports compound, maybe that would help a little bit. Yeah, it's already, yeah, that's helping, because, uh, okay, great. Now that all the major things are taken care of, like the suspension and brakes, etc., we are going to add the fixtures, so uh, like the headlights. Now we got to find a headlight that looks good on this car. <laughs> change the wheels here quick I forgot to do that um what's a good wheel for a car like this those look kind of too those look too tough yeah those look about right for a car like this wheels are a little big so yep that looks perfect I think that looks perfect and now we're going to reduce the wheel Yep, that's perfect. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the car is complete. The car is now complete, ladies and gentlemen. So now we are going to export it to BMG Drive, and we are going to test it out there. So one final look at it. 
Model 5, trim 5, because I built some more cars. Export. Okay, now I will see you guys in BMG Drive. Alright guys, so we are now in BMG Drive, so let's just dump the clutch here and take off. Alright, let's get her up to seven grand. Off we go. Handles okay. I mean, it's not the best in the corners, but I mean, it's better than I expected it to be. Um, one thing I know I already noticed though is um, the exhaust pops while I'm decelerating, like when I let off the gas to change gear. Oh, didn't mean to turn the turn signal on. But that's one thing I noticed is the exhaust pops when I um, let off the gas. But uh, handles pretty good so far. Brakes feel pretty good. Acceleration is good, especially for a four-cylinder car. I mean, I've had cars, that other cars that were in BMG Drive just fly off that corner there, so this car took that corner good. Here's another turn. This one's a tough turn. Took that turn perfectly. See if we can reach the top speed on our way down this hill. Alright, 100. Or 10. 120. 122. Yeah, that's the top speed of this thing. Alright, I gotta slow down now because we got a sharp turn coming up here and I don't want to crash this damn thing. But uh, yeah, the exhaust does sometimes uh, make like a popping or crackling sound when I let off when I uh, let off the gas. I think that may be normal. Uh, I think I ooh I beat for. Um, I read that somewhere. It said it may be normal, but I'm not 100% sure. So let me know what could be the cause of uh, exhaust popping when I let off the gas. But I mean, I'm not the most mechanically skilled person in the world. I'm no Scotty Kilmer here, so. Sharp turn here. I want to see how this car takes it. Very good, very good. Took that turn very well. I was actually trying to drift there, but I failed that drift, so drift fail. <laughs> Alright, so now we're coming up on the finish line. So, alright, pushing 70 here. Now I want to see how it stops from high speeds. Stops pretty well from like 70. Let's see if we can do a burnout. Nah, it just stalls. I don't think this car has enough, like, uh, horsepower or torque to do a burnout. See, because this thing's only, like, makes, I don't know, like, 130 foot-pounds of torque. I mean, you could have some fun with a uh, front-wheel drive car there, as I just demonstrated. Let's see if we can do a burnout in the grass. Yeah, yeah, I can do a burnout in the grass. Yeah, that's pretty good burnout right there. All right, so now we're just racing it from the parking lot here. Uh, in conclusion, I think the car's pretty good. So far, I mean, it needs a little bit of work, but I think it's a good car. I mean, I'd feel safe driving this thing. Oh, shit. Yo, I just popped my tire, bro. And on that terrible disappointment, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to end. Well, I guess that wraps up for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And please do subscribe if you guys want more videos like these. And have a good day.